Hello, this is David Hillier, and I am going to be giving a short lecture on Chapter 6, Section 6.3, The Discounted Payback Period. This is a really short section in uh, the textbook, Corporate Finance, and um, as a result, this lecture will also be quite short. Discounted Payback Period is an extension of the, the very simple Payback Period method, um, the only difference is that instead of using actual cash flows, the method uses discounted cash flows. The same, it's the same approach. Um, you, with the discounted cash flows, you find how long it takes to create value. Now, notice uh, I didn't say how long it takes to recoup your money or to get your money back. I'm saying how long it takes to create value. That's because with the discounted cash flows, you are implicitly comparing the cash flow series for the project with another cash flow series uh, that provides the return, um, which is uh, the discount rate. And so that other cash flow series would be a cash flow series that would come from an alternative investment with the same level of risk. So, it's the discounted payback period uh, finds out how long it takes for you to create value. That is, how long it, uh, f that it will take for you to, in a sense, recoup the present value of your investment. Similar to the payback period, uh, if your uh, discounted payback period is less than the benchmark, the, uh, period you would accept the project and if it's greater than the benchmark period then you would reject the project. So I'm going to just give a, a very quick example here. So we have time, we have cash flow, and we'll have the present value of the cash flows. Let's have a discount rate of say 20%. We'll have uh, five periods. The first investment uh, will be 100. And we can have, let, let's just assume that uh, we have cash flows of 25 each year. So with payback period, you can see that uh, the payback period for this project is four years because uh, that's how long it takes for you to get your money back. What we're going to do is we're going to find the present value of the cash flows and find out the discounted payback period using the present value of the cash flows. I'm going to use the a formula here and absolute sell references. You'll see what I've done is uh, just 100, 100 divided by 1 plus the discount rate to the power the time period and I've made the cell reference absolute so it means I can then copy it down. Right okay so those are the discounted cash flows. Now the first thing is is if you look at these it may be that the the sum of these won't actually add to 100 and I'm just going to I'm just going to find out if that is the case. It only adds up to 74. So in this case, there is no discounted payback period. In actual fact, this particular investment uh, would, you know, would have a negative NPV. Why would it have a negative NPV? Well, if we, we sum the, the outflows and the inflows, you'll end up getting minus value. And you can see here it's minus 25. That's the, the NPV. So when you have a negative NPV, you will never ever be able to have a discounted uh, payback period. I'm now going to change the discount rate to 10%. Even then, with 10%, you see that the NPV is, is negative, so you're never going to create value. If you sum these, it never gets to 100. So we're going to even, let's make it 5%. Eventually, uh, we've now got a positive NPV, so that allows us to estimate the discounted payback period. 
How do we do that? Well, the first thing we do, is so it's the exact same process as the payback period. What we'll do is we're going to sum the the first four cash flows. And we see that um, <coughs> the, the sum of the first four cash flows is 88.64. Now, how much money needs still needs to be recouped to make 100? Well, we'll just subtract that value from 100, and it's 11.35. So the discounted payback period is between four and five years. If we want to find the fraction, the fraction would just be the remaining amount of money divided by the present value of the final cash flow, which is 0.57. So the discounted payback period is 4.57 years. How does that compare with the payback period? Well, the payback period is 4 years. And the payback period will always be shorter than the discounted payback period. And the reason for that is that you're not discounting the cash flows. So therefore, the sum of the the undiscounted cash flows, or the actual cash flows, will clearly reach 100 before the present value of those cash flows. Now, you might think, right, okay, why, is this a good method? Is it a bad method? I think this method is a bit of a waste of time. Um, and that's why I only put a very short uh, section in the in the book. Why is it a waste of time? Well, one of the real strengths of the payback period is that it's simple. And it just tells you very quickly uh, how, how long does it take to make our money back. Once you think about the discounted payback period, what you're doing is you're taking into account time value of money. So you're taking into account risk and the timing of the cash flows. If you're going to go to the trouble of identifying an appropriate discount rate, and there are a number of chapters that I, I, I do this in, why would you then uh, go into and uh, use that discount rate for such a simple method? Also, the, the way you interpret the discounted ca uh, payback period is also difficult. With the payback period, it's simple. How long does it take for you to get your money back? With the discounted payback period, you're saying, how long does it take for you to create value? Uh, and, and then you say, well, what does value mean? Well, then you're saying, well, what we're doing is we're comparing this project with another project of a similar risk. And so... At what point do we make our, you know, we, we create value over and above what another project does? And if you then had to explain that to someone who has no financial background, they won't have a clue what you're talking about. Now, it may be that I just can't explain it very well, but, um, and I just think that, you know, if you're going to go to the trouble of, cut, you know, working at a discount rate, use MPV and use a combination of MPV with payback period don't try and be smart and use the discounted uh, payback period so that's uh, just a very brief video on uh, discounted payback period hopefully it gives you an insight into how uh, we calculate it and um, hopefully the video has been some use to you thank you very much